Hi guys, it's Mina, and I decided to do a movie review, and this is going to be my last one for a while. Wow, I'm going to be, since today's Dr. Seuss's birthday, I decided to review a movie based off of one of his books called The Cat in the Hat. So The Cat in the Hat is about these two kids named Sal Sally, played by Dakota Fanning, and Conrad, played by Spencer Breslin, who are left alone with a babysitter when their mom, played by Kelly Preston, goes to work work and this cat played by Mike Myers comes into the house and comes into the house while their mom is away and um, he teaches them how to have fun but as he's teaching them how to have fun he's messing up their house which they're trying to keep clean for a party that their mom is having later today. So okay to get started I really like The Cat in the Hat. It's a great film. It's funny, silly, and goofy. It's just one of those, like, funny, silly, goofy films. Kind of like... Wait, okay, so kind of... Um, kind of like Who from Roger Rabbit, but except Who from Roger Rabbit's cartoon characters, and I already reviewed that movie again. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, and it's just a fun, silly movie, and I like those fun, silly movies, and it's a great film film for kids as well because um Dr. because Dr. Seuss says Seuss books are more for kids and stuff. Stuff and it's a great family film because it's like because there's no swearing and stuff. It's just more of a kids movie, kids flick. And now I'm going to talk about the characters. I really like Conrad even though he's like a role breaker and stuff. He's played by Spencer Breslin. Lynn, and I'm pretty much familiar with Spencer Breslin because I've seen him in a movie called The Kid and Raising Helen, and I've seen him in this film as well. Well, and he's a great actor. He's pretty funny, too. Yeah, Conrad is, like, really funny because he's, like, a role breaker and stuff, and he does, like, the exact opposite of what he's supposed to do, <laughs> which is kind of funny. And I also like the character, his little sister Sally, who's played by Dakota Fanning. And Fanning, because even though she's kind of a control freak, and freak, she's just trying to be responsible and stuff. Stuff, and he teach, and she learns how to have fun too. And too, too, when the cat comes along, it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And I'm pretty much familiar with her because she's played, um, pretty, I mean, I'm pretty much familiar with Dakota Fanning, who plays her. Sorry, I can't talk today. And she, I've seen her in, like, I Am Sam. Um, I've seen her in Uptown Girls, which I'll review on Brittany Murphy's birthday. They to honor her. Um, I've seen her... Her in a movie called Hound Dog, which I'll probably review on Elvis Presley's birthday, because it's um, a song that takes place in the Elvis Presley area. I mean, era, area. I mean, era. <laughs> and I've seen her in Secret Life of Bees. Yeah, so I've seen her in a ton of films, and that's pretty much all I can think of that I've seen her in so far. Far, she's a great actress. She's really funny, and she does a great job with her acting. And I think she's. I don't think she's retired yet. Yet she, um, I think she's still acting now. Now she's like, I think, 19 about. I don't know. Uh, and I, I love the setting of, of the movie, too. It takes place in, I guess in a city. I don't remember. It looks like it takes place in a city. I can't remember the name of the city. It's a cute little town. I love all the houses and stuff. They look exactly like the way they're drawn in the Dr. Seuss book and all the furniture, too. It looks, like, cr goofy and weird and silly, and I like all those silly, which I like. I like those weird, goofy, silly-looking um, pieces in, like, the book and stuff. They all look goofy and silly, like Dr. Seuss draws them. It's like, yeah, and um, the only—I forgot to mention— the only character I don't like in this film is the boyfriend who's played by Alec Baldwin. He's just after the money and stuff, and I'm pretty much familiar with Alec Baldwin, I think. I think I've seen him in... It's Complicated, yeah. I've seen him in It's Complicated. Yeah, so I think I forgot to mention him, so sorry. But in case I didn't, so there it is. And I've, I've, yeah, so I love all, like, the buildings and stuff they look like crazy and goofy like the way Dr. Seuss draws them and them and the furniture in the house as well 
Well, it looks like Doctor. It looks like the way Doctor Seuss would draw them too. Sorry, I need to breathe for a sec. I was talking a little fast. Um. Uh, yeah, so there's like a lot of, so there's like a, and there's, and it's also a great way to honor Dr. Seuss, because he's like one of the best authors ever, ever, and <laughs> he has like so many books that are based off like, um, movie, there's so many movies that are made from his books, books, like there is the, doc, the Lorax, which I already reviewed, if you want to go see it, just type in my review on Dr. Seuss's The Lorax. There is also The Cat in the Hat, which I'm reviewing right now. There's also this. There's also Horton Hears a Who, which I'm going to have to watch again. I've seen this movie before. I've seen the movie before, but I don't even remember it because I've only seen it like two times, so I'm going to have to see it again. And there's also the Grinch, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, which I've seen, which, um, I've seen, which I've read and seen, some, seen a couple times. It's a great book. Book. And again, what I really like about that movie is nobody talks in rhyme all the time. And that, trust me, that kind of gets annoying. And if you like seen the show Underdog and you know how he talks in rhyme all the time, it's kind of obnoxious. Yeah. Yeah, but still, even though there's like a lot of rhyming in the Dr. Seuss book, it's still, rhyming's still a great way to help us all with our poetry nowadays because Dr. Seuss like writes a lot of rhymes and stuff and kids like rhymes. Times. And there's like some um see there's like some lines from the book. I haven't seen the movie in a while, so so so, so here um here's like some of the lines I know. There's it's fun to have fun, but you have to know how. How and let me think. Yeah, that's all pretty much I can think of. And there's, like, some songs. I don't remember the songs in the film. Um, um yeah, I don't remember the songs in the film. <laughs> um, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty funny movie, and there's, like, a lot of funny scenes. I just don't want to name them the funny scenes because I don't want to give it away to those who haven't seen The Cat in the Hat yet. Yeah, it's just really fun, silly, and goofy. And it's like a great way, and it's like one of like the best Dr. Seuss books ever made. And here's and here's like the Cat in the Hat, which I read in for a movie review, because Dr. Seuss like writes the best children's books for like rhyming and stuff. Like when we're younger, we're learning like rhyming and stuff. We we learn like rhyming from like a Dr. Seuss book because a Dr. Seuss book has like a bunch of rhymes in it. Rhymes in it, and that's the fun thing thing about reading a Dr. Seuss book is rhyming everything. Sometimes, depending on, like, your reading, reading skills, you can read it fast or read it slow. Yeah. So, this is just a fun book to read. These are just, like, fun, really fun books to read for, like, learning your rhyming. I'm gonna go put this away now, so sorry if I'm talking a little bit too much. <laughs> yeah, so... I would recommend The Cat in the Hat for those who love Dr. Seuss and rhyming and those who like funny, silly, goofy films like with Mike Myers and stuff. I forgot. I think I forgot to mention Mike Myers is in the movie too. Too. I'm familiar with him, so sorry if I left him out. out. And who like Mike Myers and Dakota Fanning and Spencer Breslin and Kelly, Pre Kelly Preston. <laughs> sorry. And... Alec Baldwin, yeah, because they're great actors, because they're really funny, so funny actors, it's just like a, like, so much fun to, like, watch movies that they're in, because they're all so funny, funny, and it's a, and, and, like, all those who like Dr. Seuss should see this, too, as well, and that's, it's such a, it's just such a fun film to watch. Okay, so... That was my review on The Cat in the Hat. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in another video soon.